Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be tying a Clauser minnow. It's a little bit uh, different variation of it. And I'll point those differences as we go along here. I watched uh, several Bob Clauser videos on how to tie his fly. And there's a few things I like to do a little differently. I've tied this fly a lot in the past. And I'm going to show you basically what I do. How I do it. What I have in the vise is a hook from the Wholesale Fly Company, something I recently purchased, it's a Pennsylvania company. It's their uh, Model 25, size 6, it's, it's a saltwater hook. So it's uh, stainless. And the thread I'm going to be using is Danville 140 denier in black. I'm going to start it one third of the way back and make a little ball there with your thread. Cut away your tag end. The eyes we're going to use is premium brass hourglass eyes from the wholesale fly company. They are 4.5 millimeter and 11 sixty-fourths. It's nice how they have metric in English so you can compare. Take one, just lay it right on top of the hook. Press it right up against the ball of thread you just placed there. Give it a few wraps right over the middle there. There you go, five wraps on the one way. Now we're going to do about five wraps the other way. And repeat. Watching Bob Clauser's videos, that's how he recommends it. He doesn't recommend the figure eight like this. He recommends the one direction for about five. Then repeat the opposite way. Then take your thread and up and underneath. Just helicopter it up and underneath. Now what I like to do is something a little different is after I helicoptered a few times is to take my thread and wrap it up against the eyes in one direction and I'll wrap it back I think what that does, it helps it secure it a little bit. Now they're nice and secure. What you can do, if you want, is to add a little super glue to it. But I think they're pretty good the way they are at the moment. Bring this right up just a little bit. What we're going to add now is some bucktail. We're going to start with yellow because you want the lightest color on the bottom of the fly and the fly is going to ride upside down. So we'll add yellow to the top now which will eventually be the bottom. Take your scissors and cut off a section smaller than a pencil width. And the section I like to cut from is sort of the middle part of the bucktail. You can see where I've been hacking away at it. And you can do this side too. Top is not so bad, but the bottom isn't so good for tying this fly. It flares out too much on you. This is uh, this hair is seems to be a little more stable. So take a clump, cut it away. About that much. You don't need uh, don't need too much. Just about a pencil width. After Smaller than a pencil width, but a half pencil width. That way you know what, uh, what size you need there. Take it over your garbage can, clean it out a little bit. You don't have to line up the tips. The way I'm going to tie it in is going to be a little different than what maybe other guys tie it in. I think this is a little easier for myself. So, once you have it all cleaned out and you have all the long hairs taken out, oh, any short hairs, extra short hairs taken out, have it up here, take some more of those short hairs out. 
Alright, grasp it, roll it around a little bit so you get, a, get them all together. Lay it right on top of your hourglass eyes there. Give it a loose wrap to make sure they're all lined up. Give it a couple good wraps there. Now take your thread behind your eyes. Pull your bucktail straight back and start wrapping back. What we're going to do is make sure all this bucktail is covered up. So wrap back to the top of the bend of the hook. Don't want to put excessive amount of thread pressure on it. And the more thread pressure you're going to put, it's going to splay it out. So try not to get too crazy with the thread pressure. Bring it back up, covering up all the yellow. Alright, now we're going to add some crystal flash. This crystal flash I got out in Bowling Springs when visiting in-laws. They live right next to the uh, TCO flash shop. So take a small clump of it, maybe 10 strands or so. I don't quite use as much as maybe others on this uh, style minnow. About that much is what I'm going to use. Take it all the way down to the end there, clip it off. Take your clump, lay it up underneath the thread, pull it straight up. Should we get her all though? There you go, got her all. Lay it right on top, kind of even it out, separate it, tie one end nearest me, and then flip over the other side and tie it off nearest to the camera. Just like that, pull them back together and wrap it all the way back to where the thread ends and wrap it back up, covering everything up. Kind of fill that in a little bit there. Trying to even out that body. Alright, so now you have a nice solid black middle body with your crystal flash on either side. You can trim it to length now if you want. Take it to the end of the bucktail and give it a snip. Now you want to go ahead and take give us a couple more wraps here. Bring your thread, make sure you go up under the eyes. Give it a couple more wraps here. Cut away any excess just by pulling straight up. Just cut it away from the eye. That way when you do wrap it in, you're not covering up the eye. For me, I found this to be just a little bit easier way to secure everything. And if you want you can go ahead and wrap it in now. Right down to the eye. Now you're going to flip your fly over. Now we're going to tie in your second color. And this color is going to be a bright orange. Package says fresh and orange. But I don't think it's quite fluorescent. It's definitely orange, Joe. Now the same area of the bucktail, sort of the middle part of the tail, is where you want to use the hair from. It just seems to be a little bit better quality. Take a pinch, smaller than a pencil. Now 
that's a little too much so what you want to do is go ahead and thin it out over top of your garbage can make sure you take all the long ones out any short ones too now what I have here is still too much so I'm going to take a third of that out what do you think? about to say good enough? alright we'll give that a try now here's a little different way uh, that I like to tie it in that I found very useful and a little easier to do is just to take the whole clump of hair and lay it on the side of the fly but in between the eyes so just like that basically and you want it the same length as your previous bucktail if not a little shorter so lay it right on top of the eyes give it a tie few wraps just like that now you're going to cut it away from the eye of the hook take your sharp scissors pull everything up and at an angle cut it all away just make sure you cut away from the eye and when you wrap that thread, it'll be right in behind the eye there. Again, I found this is a, a little easier way for me to do it. And it's also a very secure way of keeping that bucktail in there. So go ahead and wrap it. Right in between the eye, right behind the eye. Wrap it right up. Just like that. Perfect. Now if you have a couple hairs inside the, the eye of the hook, you can actually take a lighter, wherever my lighter may be, pull your thread back, clean that eye right out. Alright, go ahead and put finish it. I like the whip finish right up against the eyes. That way I think that's the most secure spot for this whip finish. Pull it tight right in there. Cut it away. hair to get out of there. Alright, now you want to take your fly out of your vise. Take your orange hair. If I can get it in front of the camera here for you. And just flip it right over top of the hook here. Let me show you here. Nice and even. Everything right where it should be is if you tied it right in the middle to begin with and there you go basically you have the fly it's a uh, Variant of a clouser. One thing I did do different is the way I tie in my crystal flash instead of tying it into the front. When I tied it into the front, I was getting a lot of bulk hair and I didn't want all that much bulk. And I did tie in the both pieces of bucktail a little differently, but it all ends up the same. And what I like to do now is add a little 
Sally Hansons. This will secure your eyes and your bucktail. Just a little dab on top. I don't necessarily need to get down in the bottom of the thread there, but just a little on top. Right around the nose there. Don't want too much there. Clean it up a little bit. Everything's nice and secure. It's up to you on how much flash you want to use. I sometimes I use a little less. I'll show you one of those. Here's the same fly, just a little less flash. This one has a little more. So there you go. Alright, hope you like this fly. It's, good. it's a variant of, of the uh, closer, not quite the uh, original design, but it's one I've been tying up for a while. And it is a good smallmouth fly. Alright, I hope you like it. Go fish it. Give me a comment of the fish you catch with it. And hope you uh, like these videos. If you do, give me a little subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Stay safe out there. And it's springtime. Go get your line wet. See ya.